Wait for what? Good morning, sir. Um, good morning, Amaka. You, I was greeting you. I heard, I heard it and I chose not to answer you. What's going on with you? What is it? She be asking you that. Are you not going to work? Because the last time I checked you, you are the auditor or the MD or the CPC in your company. Without you, they won't install life in your company. Honey, stop it now. No, now, because I want to know. You're supposed to be going to work. Why are you... It's not, it's not like that. You, you, you ignored me all through the night. You refused to cuddle me, even though you know I love cuddling. But this morning, I greeted you. You ignored me. Why? I don't want to cuddle. Okay? I don't want to cuddle. Let me go out there and look for someone that will cook food for me to eat. I will eat and be filled up first before I think of cuddling. You cook for me. I go out there and look for something to eat since you are always busy to cook. Okay, I'll, I'll make something. Donald, please help me bring down the food from fire, all right? I've put everything in it. All you need to do is just turn off the gas, all right? And save yourself. I'm Are you... Uh, wait, wait, wait. As, as what? Which one is all I need to do is turn off? Turn off which gas? As your maid. What's that supposed to mean? Because you're, because you're going to... Go, 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 going to, to walk! Yes! At least you know where I'm going to. I am going to walk. All right, honey, your food is on fire. Just turn off the gas and save yourself. It's not too much to ask. Now help me. So I'm talking. You're still telling me to go and go and off gas, off which gas? Oh, See, you're no, disrespecting no, me in this no, household. No. See, my boss is calling me. Hold on. Ah. Aish, for your boss. Hello. Yes, sir. I am already on my way, sir. I'll I'll be at the office soon. Thank you, sir. See, do not please. If you leave this house, eh? Don't bother coming back. I love you. Okay. Don't bother. I'm talking to you. You're telling me you Just want to talk to your boss. I'm going to Just serve you. go ahead. With... Oh, Donald. No, okay. I, I, I Just go from there. Answer your boss and go from there. I, you can go. Donald, I love you. I, I would love to serve you, but just help yourself, all right? I'll see you later. Purity. Purity. What? Are you planning to leave without, without preparing something for me? Do not, please. It's too early in the morning. Besides, I am late. I can't have this argument. I don't have power for your quarrel. So you're not supposed to prepare breakfast for your husband? Am I supposed to tell you that? You keep doing this all the time. You wake up in the morning and just go to work and come back here late. Leaving what you're supposed to do as a wife. I don't even understand what your problem is. Like, is it because I've been keeping quiet? Is it because I've been keeping quiet? You know, challenge, stupid attitude. Donald. Don't call my name. You know what? I'm out of here. Come back here. Come back here. Good morning. Good morning, Stabi. <laughs> You are leaving for work already? Yes, I am late. It's just unfortunate that I won't have time to chat up a little bit. I know, you love this is your job. Please. <laughs> I'll see you later, alright? We are back now. Okay, let me even open the gate for you. Good morning. Are you mad? What is good about this morning? Sorry, yo. You sorry. Yo. You know you can pass us to it's the river. Looking now for say to a drink. And you can force a man to take a woman. Looking now for him to love. These are things we should know. Life happens. Don't force it. President Donald Trump of all people. <laughs> My 
My guy, my guy. <laughs> you know, today I was just wondering that this one that I've not seen, I hope there's no problem. <laughs> All is well. All is indeed well. All is well. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I've been trying to just be myself since, since morning. And that's what keeps me wondering because I. I know you are one person that hates alcohol with passion. How come you are not you are not living in it? You are, not, you are even taking you are even taking it more than those that used to take it before. Well, change they say is constant. Uh, uh, that's how we see it. We don't have a choice. Sorry, I'm missing something. We were smelling. Friend, what is burning? Are you not aware that Sister Purity left something on fire? Are you mad? Sorry. Who are you talking to in that manner? Did you shave your brain? Do not. Really? No, 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 no. Did you, did you hear the, 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 the two? You are getting angry with him over a simple question. Come on, do not. Huh? What do they say whenever the truth is misspoken, the shameless, he goes always give excuses. Why? Sleeping with the with its mother is not a sin against the earth. Why is why all these things? You're even confusing me that it's trying to listen to prove up. What's the meaning of this thing you just said now? I'm telling you that this boy is talking to me rudely. You're telling me shameless he go divorce. What's my business with shameless he go? But I fear something is born in his so, so it's okay. That, that's 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 okay. Come, are you are you mad? Get out of here. Brother, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm hungry, man. Jesus. the house. Donald woke up this morning and decided to frustrate me. He was insisting I prepare breakfast for him. Can you imagine? Uh, when did that start? I, I thought he has been very supportive of your career. Why the change of character? Don't tell me we've lost the contract. Ha! Huh. It's my fault. This, this is on me. No, don't blame it on yourself. Besides, you're not supposed to be here in the first place. This is, today is your off day. You're supposed to be at home to take care of your, your husband and yourself. Kara, no. Do you know how important my work is? Do you know how what we do here is important? It's very important to me. I know. I know. I know. And I also know that your life shouldn't be all about here. You, should, you, need, to, you, need, you need to create space for yourself. Okay. See, just don't get too hard on yourself. Let me drop this with Adina and I'll be back, okay? I'll see you. Just take it easy. All right. Don't stress yourself. I'll see you, eh? Yeah. Again. Oh. My brother, what we are doing is no leave, no transfer. Wait, wait. I'll, 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 I'll call you back. Why are you staring at me? You, you, you've not seen a fine man before. I lost the client. And I lost the fact check that would have come with it thanks to you. Uh, how is that my business? My friend Gata will got, 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 get out from my presence. It's like, it's like you don't have sense. You lost, come, come back here. Come back here. You. I should be asking you that. When did you become this man? What happened to the man I married? I am very sure you didn't even go to work today. You've been at home drinking yourself to stupor. Look at you. You dare not talk to me like that, you fool. Don't talk to me like that. It is you that is a fool. Yes, it is you that is out of your mind, Donald. Do you know your, your, your shallow ego cost me a huge amount of money today at work? Do you know what it means? And this is what I get? A drunk husband? At least it's better than 
going out there, staying till, till night without minding that you have a husband that you should take care of. Don't, don't you know you're supposed to take care of your family, that you left people at home, oh, you're supposed to take me. care of. Don't talk to me like that. Excuse me. Then you call yourself a wife without doing anything in the house. You just go, go, go to anywhere you like and come back at night. Call yourself a wife. Sin. Don't talk to me like that again. They you wake me up like that? Huh? Who the hell are you? What have you done with my husband? Because I do not know this man. How can you be this mean and heartless, Donald? You left the food, I, 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 I left your watch on fire and you allowed it burned like that? Why? Huh? What kind of wickedness is this? Is that madness? How do you wake me up like that? If you try this nonsense next time, the kind of, the kind of slap I'll give to you, eh? Stay next time. Sister, what happened? Why is brother behaving this way? I do not know. But what I know is that he is well aware of what he is doing. He knows nothing. That is foolishness. It doesn't ruin our family. Nobody in our family behaves like this. Where's my food? Do you know you're very wicked? Like to the extreme. You're comfortably eating. Not even minding what your husband will eat. What do you call that? Mm. You want me to give you food? Mm. I want you to give me my new. This food that I'm eating. Instead of me to give you this food, I'd rather pour it out or feed it to pigs. Right, mm. So what do you call that? Is that a wickedness? That food will choke you. It will choke me. It will choke, it will choke me. Let it choke me. Yes. This girl is learning from you. It will see that it's wicked. No, it's... It will see that it's heartless. It will see that it's mean. I left food for you on fire. You allowed it to burn. And you want to eat. I'm not serious. Like, how do you manage to come to office this early? Embark on every journey that needs your presence despite being married. I don't understand. I'm asking because Peter, my husband, will never allow it. Well, Vera, Donald knew I was already a working class woman before he asked me to marry him. So I don't think he will expect me to quit my job in the name of marrying him. <laughs> Peter no. hasn't asked me to quit my marriage. But I'm just talking about you making out time to make your relationship work. That's it. I don't get it. I satisfy the man sexually. What more would he want from me? Friendship. 
companionship, just partner. Like, he, he needs you there. You deny him all these things. I'm telling you the truth. I think you just have to make up time to strike a balance between your relationship and your work pattern. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I think you should mind your business. Yes, because my, my relationship is working out fine. Hold on. You're beginning to sound as if Donald sent you to come bring wash me. No, I haven't even seen on a head for me for a very long time. I'm just telling you because I, I think you might be treading the wrong path. That's all. Well, thank you. Keep your own suggestion to yourself. I mean, you need it for your own home. If me and my husband have issues, we will sort it out, okay? Sorry, ma'am. Thank you. We're running late. <gasps> okay, let's get food. All right. Asking if she's back. That one. You shouldn't be back now. Her coming back should be like in, in two hours or three hours' time. <laughs> Always busy. Are you not? Have you lost it? How did you wake me up from sleep? Are you okay? Donald, what did I ever do to you? Why are you treating me this way? What happened to wait, what happened to my husband? Who, why are you like this? Why are you being so mean to me? Why? The only thing I understand here is that you suddenly lack respect for me. This is also not the woman I married. You just talk to me anyhow you like, anyhow you just you just talk to me carelessly. Eh? You've seen me finish now, right? You've seen me finish. Okay. I know what to do. I'll just have to re-strategize. Maybe if I'm laughing too much, then every day I'll be bony. So that you know that I'm serious in life. Can you imagine? Since now it's, it's all about talking to me anyhow you anyhow you care. Honey. Good morning. I made breakfast. I don't want to eat. Honestly, I'm wondering why you're doing all of this. Aren't you going to be sanctioned at work or sacked? 
for doing your responsibility. Come on, Donald. Nobody is sanctioning anybody, right? I notice the distance between us. I'm just trying to bring us closer. Well, I don't think it's necessary because I'm used to eating out. I've been doing it for quite some time now and I'm already getting used to it. Donald, look, I know my job annoys you. I mean, you've been showing me in your actions lately. So I am just doing my best to bring out time, you know, let us reconnect and become like family, like we used to be. Don't you want that? I won't need that. But um, I see you're off today. Yeah. But me, I'm very busy. I need to run along. No. I'm not interested, actually. You can keep your food. Do, do not now. Wait, just hear me. She knows very well that she can actually adjust her working schedule. But she refused to do it. All this while. Um, Donald. Not that I'm right, though. I'm just thinking. Thinking of what? What if your wife is seeing another man? Because I can't see the reason a married woman will engage in a work that will take all her day. That she needs to, that she has to come back late. If at all. You think my wife is cheating on me? It was looking into. Don't you think so? Come on, Donna. What about all these superstitious things? Those things doesn't exist in this present day. Of course, it still exists. Very much. Okay, hold on. Let me show you. This one happened just a few days ago. Don't forget to look at a date. There you go. Jeez, this is just three days ago. Of course. Just three days ago. Honestly, my wife is my daughter. I can't believe that such a thing can happen. But it happened. You see, the woman was doing it because the husband lives abroad. So she thinks no one could, you know, ascertain her movement and all of that. But the date was, was watching. And when it was time to strike her, it happened. Like a flash of light. Please step back your phone. <laughs> yeah. This is an eyesore. This is irritating. So, the fact that we are embracing civilization doesn't mean that we have absconded from you know, the ways of our forefathers. They still practice it. <laughs> so, you see why I think that my wife will not cheat on me. I'm just concerned on her negligence towards her responsibility at home. That's, that's just my problem. But for cheating, no, 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 she can't do that because she knows. <laughs> she knows very well. But do that. According to this your tradition, what if the man cheats? What happens? Well, men are exception to that. Why how? Because men are polygamous in nature. Well, this has been going on from my forefathers, great great grandfathers, so I really don't know why men are exempted, but I think basically it's because of polygamy. You know, we can marry as many wives as we want, but yeah. not for women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. So I think you need to report that to her parents so they can talk sensibly. Yes, yes, that's that's what I have to do. Vera, it's so sad. My husband now ignores me. He doesn't eat my food. He prefers to eat out. Can you imagine? Is it not obvious that Donald is angry with you? 
sit him down and I have a heart to heart discussion with him. What did I do wrong? Why is he angry with me? Before he proposed to me, I told him that I love my job and he was happy with it. So what, what, what was the sudden drama now? Purity for crying out loud, you're not the only working class lady out there. Eh? What is wrong with you? Purity for crying out loud, you're not the only working class lady out there. What's your problem? You need to strike a balance between your marriage and your work. Don't push your husband into the arms of another lady because you're busy working for another man's company when you should be busy working to build your home. Wake up! Yes, I needed a quiet place to walk, so I decided to come back home early. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm a fresh Give me attention. Love, I I'm almost through, okay? Just give me some time, I'll soon be done. Alright? But I need my wife. This can wait tomorrow. No, this cannot wait. I have to submit this at the office as early as 8 a.m. You know what punctuality means to us? It's a serious policy. So please give me one okay, give me 30 minutes. I'll join you in bed, alright? No, I'm not going to bed without you. I'll just hang around here. When you're done, we'll go together. I didn't want to wake you up last night because I looked at you and I saw how tired you, you looked. Hope you're okay. Who are you? Excuse me. Yes, because I need to understand who you are. This is not the woman I married. This is not the woman that I invited different people from all walks of life to come for the wedding ceremony. That woman that I married respects me. She puts me first. She's kind to me. She doesn't disrespect me. But this one is a total flop. This one disrespects me every at every given time. Do not get to it. What is it? What did I do wrong now? It's too early. What is it? Huh? To be honest with you, for 
pushing me really hard. You're pushing me really hard. And very soon, I'll be comfortable with that position. Don't forget that a cornered rat will suddenly grow teeth to bite. What? Keep doing it. What's with the proverb? It's fine. What did it's I fine. do? I Can you at least say, say something? What did I do wrong now? I need some money. I need to restock the house. We are low on food stuff. I don't have money. What do you mean you don't have money? Okay, please wait. I'm talking to you. I need some money to restock the house. We don't have food stuff, Oga. Okay? Ah, don't you walk? So can't you use your money to restock the house at least for once in your life? What do you mean, don't you walk? Am I now the man of the house? Is it not your responsibility to provide for the house? Oh, so you know there is something called responsibility. Your responsibility in this house, do you do it? Do you do your responsibility as a married wife in this house? You psychophant. You suddenly, you suddenly know what responsibility is. Eh eh, do not. Do not refer to me as a psychophant. I don't like it. I live up to my expectations as a wife in this house. You yourself, do you live up to your own expectation? All you do is complain about every single thing and cry like a child. You behave like a baby. Every single thing. Yes. Uh, but you're asking the baby to give you money to yes, restock the house. Yes, the baby has to give me money. No, you should restock the, the, the house, house because you're working. See, I don't have time. Even if you need toothpick, you call, you, you, you call me to buy toothpick. Donald, give me money. If you need service, you call me. Donald. At least for your own good, for once. Buy something Donald, for the house. Donald, stop you're behaving working. like a child. Stop behaving like a you're child. You're telling me you're working. You're working. Donald, you don't have time to. Donald, do. Donald, 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 you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed. You eat stones. You eat stones. Come back and you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Shameless man. Every time you are looking for someone to abuse. Good for nothing. I'm waiting for you. You eat. I will pack stones for you in a place. Shameless man. Ooh, you can put the blame on me. Yes, and I take it all. Excuse me, sir. Um, I know you're leaving soon. I was wondering if you could drop me at um very spot. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's like my way. You can join me there. Sister, are you not feeling fine? This is why you didn't go to work today. Oh, I am fine, all right? I just have a couple of things to do. Oh, I see, because it's quite unlike you, staying at home during work day. You know what? I'm chilling. My husband comes back. Tell him that I went to get grocery, okay? Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to buy you a drink. I really don't know what you're going through, and I do not want to ask, I promise. But I also know you need a drink and some excitement. Thank you. You're welcome. And it's also my birthday. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. To the best worker, actually. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I wish you long life and prosperity. Cheers to a good life. <laughs>
Um, you can drop your bag. Oh, it's fine. Okay. So, what's your story? I... I was serving Mr. and Mrs. Baba Jude. After serving them for seven years, Mr. Baba Jude started making advances at me. When I told his wife about it, she didn't take it as anything. And she was hardly at home. You mean? Mrs. Babajide would leave you alone with her husband. Yes. Mr. Babajide is a very good man. He showed me so much love and attention. Then we started seeing. He made sure I lacked nothing. And then I got pregnant. When I told him about it, he was very happy. He promised that his son abroad would take very good care of me and my child, and that he would also take me abroad. But his wife was not happy about it. So she sent me out of the house. She also saw that her son would never accept me and my baby. Since then, life has been very difficult for me. I do all sorts of menial jobs just so I can feed and, and take care of myself. Wow. I don't get it. Why would you accept to get pregnant on behalf of Babajide's son who is abroad? The family was really nice to me. His son was extremely good to me as well the last time he visited his parents. When I found out his inability to make babies due to his ailments, and that his white wife also divorced him because he cannot perform as a man, I opted to help in order to continue their lineage. I guess I made a terrible mistake out of my beauty. But now I know better. But at this point, I cannot terminate the pregnancy. It's okay. Your story is very pathetic. And I feel really sorry for you. Um, do you know what? Let me go in and make something for us to eat, all right? My husband will soon be back and I wouldn't want him to come back and I'll still be in the kitchen. When we are done, we would go see Mrs. Babajide, if that is okay by you. It's fine. So just relax, all right? Okay. be doing this to yourself in this condition. Yes, the so-called Mrs. Babajide is such mannerless and rude woman. So because she has her life put together, she, she's on top of the world, she's God. It's okay. <laughs> Stop crying. Right? You, you know what? You can, you can pass the night here with us. Yes, you can stay here. When my husband comes back, I'll talk to him about you. Hopefully he agrees. And then you can stay with us until you have your baby. No, 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 
course, life is basically <laughs> like that. But when you keep doing what you know how to do best, definitely someday you get to the zen. Mm -hmm. Dedication mm -hmm. is very important in life. I know, very important. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we tend to be distracted by one thing or the other, but when you know where you're going, you should be steadfast towards, towards mm -hmm. your dreams and you know, in pursuit of what you really want. So I, life is... I agree is, with you. Like I didn't get to this point by by um you know mm -hmm. by chance I, I got here through hard work and dedication so it's oh shit my wife oh. I know she's worried why i'm not home yet because mm -hmm. you know i'm not used to staying out late oh. actually yeah. i totally understand thank you for making my day that's fine that's mm -hmm. fine i'll just get going let me quickly uh where's the waitress so i can just sort the bill and... oh oh no Please, don't worry about it. I brought you out, so I'll cover the bills. Besides, it's my birthday, so bills on me. It's your birthday, okay. I owe you a gift, that's fine. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you very much, sir. That's fine, you're welcome. All right, good night. All right, good night. Honey, what happened? You you are late. Oh, you know, explanation. Are you serious? I have been calling your phone and you, you haven't been picking my calls. And now you're telling me you owe me no explanations. Oh, really? You're yeah. angry. <laughs> now you know how it feels to pay you back in your own coin. Right? By the way, who is she? That was why I was calling you to discuss it with you. You know what? Um, why don't you go upstairs, freshen up, we'll talk about her over dinner, all right? I'm not hungry. Donna. Donna. That girl, that, that pregnant lady, is she? Um, she, she's, she's just a stranded girl. I am trying to help. But that aside, what's going on with you? Are you avoiding my food because in the morning you you didn't have breakfast? Can you shut up? And now dinner, you you saying you're not hungry? What's what's with you? What's with me? Yes. Are you not talking off point? What you're answering me is not what I'm asking you. First, you brought in a total stranger into my house without my consent. Secondly, why are you suddenly pushing me to, to what, what's all this charity? What's all this thing you're doing? Donna, I, I don't get you. You made me get used to roadside food. That's what you made me do. I'm comfortable eating outside. So why are you Donna, suddenly- uh, It's not intentional. You uh, know it's work. It's not, I'm not intentionally stabbing you, all right? Okay. You should understand that these things happen. It's my work. In a wars. Because you walk, you no longer take part in family affairs. Things you're supposed to do are look at everywhere. Looking so untidy. You don't cook for me. You do nothing in this house because you walk. Right? Do not. Do not. I cannot with you. You cannot with me. I can't. You can't. Get a hold of yourself. It's not me. This late? <laughs> Nothing, ma'am. I had you drive inside, so I decided to come see. Welcome. Oh, um, it's okay. You can do that by the way. 
Wait for what? Good morning. Um, good morning, Amaka. You, I was greeting you. I heard, I heard it and I chose not to answer you. What's going on with you? What is it? Why should we be asking you that? Are you not going to work? Because the last time I checked you, you are the auditor or the MD or the CPC in your company. Without you, they won't install life in your company. Honey, stop it now. No, see. now, because I want to know. You're supposed to be going to work. Why it's not, are you... It's not, it's not like that. You, you, you ignored me all through the night. You refused to cuddle me, even though you know I love cuddling. But this morning, I greeted you. You ignored me. Why? I don't want to cuddle. Okay? I don't want to cuddle. Let me go out there and look for someone that will cook food for me to eat. I will eat and be filled up first before I think of cuddling. You cook for me. I go out there and look for something to eat since you are always busy to cook. Okay, I'll, I'll make something. from anywhere. I just have this feeling to help you. It's okay if you want me to leave, Ma. You've done enough for me more than anyone else since I became pregnant. And for that, I am grateful. No, I, I do not want you to leave. I just don't want to regret my actions. Um, there's food. Figure out something to eat if you're hungry. And feel free, relax. I'll see you when I get back from work, okay? Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you, sir. So I am very sorry for coming late today. I had a terrible hangover due to the drink I had last night. But I promise this will not happen again. I'm very sorry. It's okay. I understand. So would you go get me food at that restaurant? Okay, sir. Sir, so not like it's in my place, and I'm sorry. But did your wife travel? Because you seem to prefer eating from the restaurant than from home. Go get me the food and get back to work, okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you for the money you sent me last night. I appreciate it.
My wife still left you here. yesterday. She, she met her in the street. Your wife Purity met a random girl on the street and brought her into your matrimonial home and you accommodated it. Well, the thing, I wasn't really around. Um, yesterday was my secretary's birthday, Jessica, so we went out and I stayed out late. So, but when I got back, I was thinking that at least by now, she should have left. But I'm surprised to still see her here. Yesterday was Jessica's birthday. Yeah. I went out with her. Yes. To the point of staying all day till night. Whoa. <laughs> now talk to me, what's going on? How? How? What's going on between her and Jessica? Yesterday was her birthday, you went out with her. Wait, so? wait, 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 wait. What are you insinuating? Are, are you being serious now? You can't tell me that nothing transpired, nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, nobody's a kid here. Yeah? No, you're, you're, being, you're being really silly now. Why would you think that of me? <laughs> I know you do that. I know you. You know me as what? Come on, I'm your friend. You uh -huh. can talk to me. Just open up no, to no, me. No, no, no. For you to assume this, you're not my friend. Don't, don't say that. I know you're not telling me the truth. Well, you can think whatever you want. <laughs> President Donald. <laughs> ah! What's your name? My name is Amaka Emimikesa. Who washed those clothes in my bedroom? I did, sir. I I was feeling bored and I had nothing to do, so I I decided to search for you and Auntie Purity's dirty clothes so I can wash them. You mean my wife didn't compel you to do it? No, she couldn't. I'm so sorry, sir, for entering your room without your consent. I'm really sorry. But I did not take anything. The money and other stuffs I saw in your pocket, I, I kept it on your bed. You can check it's there. Okay. I'm not trying to glorify anything, but this is kind of weird. This girl did this laundry. And if you go up there, Room is looking all tidy, the kitchen everywhere. Look at it. Even a dry cleaner cannot cannot get my shirts as sparkling and clean as this properly mm. ironed. Yeah. Don't you think that this lady question might be up to something? Like what? What if she's looking for something like money or trying to set up camera to monitor hey, you? No, no. I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, my spirit is so strong that I haven't thought of anything negative about her yet. I'm talking of money. I left some money in the in the pockets. And guess what? She assembled all of that and kept it for me in the room. Even some I left in the drawer are still there untouched. So would you say she's She's in because of money. If that should be the case, um, maybe Purity brought her in as a house self. Since she's not always around, and she doesn't want a substitute. Uh, well, on the contrary, I still think she might be up to something and decide to use the laundry as a cover-up. Where I called me. Okay, quick one, huh? 
I want to confirm something from you and I need you to tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. If you lie to me, <laughs> you will not like the outcome. But, but you know I can't lie to you now. Uh, but sometimes you, you tell unnecessary lies. That's why I'm making sure you know the gravity of lying to me. Okay. Did you leave this house today? No, I have been indoor. Even the, the food that I ate, it was the vendor that served it for me. The vendor? Vendor, yes. How about the girl, the visitor? It's not up to two hours she went into rest. What do you mean rest? She has been the one cleaning the compound, even the cobwebs. She even entered Auntie the Pirates room to, to pack her clothes. She washed all her clothes. She even came to my room to iron your own clothes too. Uh, brother, <laughs> that girl, uh, she deserves a chill drink. <laughs> I'm serious. It's okay. You can go. <laughs> I've yet to understand what we are doing today. Okay. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. You washed my clothes and that of my husband. Did he put you up to it? No, ma. He didn't. Um, I, I was feeling lonely and bored and I needed to do something to show my gratitude for letting me stay in your house. So I went to your room to gather your dirty clothes and that of your husband to wash them. I, I, I'm sorry, my I'm not supposed to go into your room without your permission, but I promise I did not take anything, just the clothes. I'm sorry. It's okay. But next time, take permission, okay? Yes, ma'am. Amaka. I brought you here to help you because of your condition, not to use you as my house help. Oh, I wouldn't want you to stress yourself too much. Mm -hmm. Well, my condition is not a problem. I'm not stressing myself. The thing is, I, I don't like staying idle. It makes me sick. I, I like walking, so please, my, don't mind. Let me do the things I like doing. Okay. Right then, take care of yourself. Thank you. Babe, I know that things have been a bit awkward between us. The, the atmosphere is always tensed up. The tension is too high. And whose fault is that? Come on, babe. This is not the time to start apportioning blames. Today is Saturday and we are both not going to work. So how about we do, you know, something fun, just to rekindle and make up for lost time? Yeah, I can say no. Thank it feels you. good to know that my wife wants this as much as I do. Yes, I do want this. So. I have a lot on my mind that we could do today for fun, but I'll quickly go downstairs and pick something for us to eat, okay? think about Amaka? Do you think she should go back to the village or should keep her here?
Well, I'm not really sure I'm in the right position to make that decision because you brought her here. Well, I think she should. I think we should keep her. I mean, she could help us around the house and we pay her, like, place her on a monthly salary. Yeah. Like a house help. More or less. I don't think it's right, though. Though I've noticed that she's a nice person and hardworking. Um, but then... I know, but I still think she's better off staying with us. I mean, she can guarantee, we can guarantee for proper medical care all through her pregnancy until she delivers, other than going back to the village or the streets. Yeah. And then again, she can use that as a form of exercise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Where is she, though? I haven't seen her since I came downstairs. Well, I'm sure she'll just be in her room. Like the food. What you're saying is that your husband must spend most of his time outside, even at night. Vera, it's not even funny. Donald has changed. The Donald that I used to know hates to keep late nights. But these days, it's a different story altogether. And you're feeling bad, right? Of course I'm feeling bad. I'm, am I not supposed to? He's my husband. I'm supposed to be concerned about things like this. See, see, I'm not here to judge you, my dear, but if your husband spends most of his time outside, it's because of you. Vera, I have told you this before. This is not my fault, okay? I and Donald, we had this conversation. He knew I have always been a, a working class woman. What am I supposed to do? Put my certificate that took me four years to get under the bed or throw my PhD away or quit my job? What do you want me to do? Nobody is asking you to do that. Nobody is asking you to quit your job. You just lack balance. For crying out loud, make her space to build a family with your husband. Auntie, Auntie. But he, he called. Um, good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. I'm fine, ma. I'm very excited. Wait, he called? Yes, I did. He just called. He said he would be in Nigeria this week, Thursday. I can't wait to see him. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what? Um, talk about. Okay, ma. Um, I'm sorry for the way I bashed in. I, I, I didn't know you had a guest. Okay, thank you. Who is she? Ah, she is just a lady I picked up from the streets. She was abandoned. She's pregnant, obviously. You know, her story is very pathetic. It's a story for another day. We're talking about Donald.
you can put the blames on me Right now, I did it for a reason, yeah All I ask is just a moment to split it all But you can put the blame on me, yeah Sir, please let me let me drop you off. Let me let me help you. I can find my way. Sir, I don't know what the problem is, but I cannot allow you drive yourself from looking this tipsy. Please let me help you. Mm, mm, yes, yes. Are you, are you calling me bro? No, sir. But you're not looking well. Uh, Let me just help you get home. You, you just call me you drunk. Sir, you're not looking huh? fine. Let me help you home. Miss, Let me Let me take you home. It means that you want, sir, you want to leave your job. Go. Get, get out. Get, get. Sir, let me, let me. Get, get, get lost. <laughs> calling your boss. You're drunk. Signing? Yes, I am. Why? Don't I fell in love with you the very first day I set eyes on you when I came for that interview. Only to realize that you're a married man. Well, Jessica, I don't... I don't know if I should apologize to this. I am married to a lovely, beautiful woman. I'll advise you don't attach your emotions towards your job. Continue with your job. You're a very beautiful woman. Of course, you'll get someone that will love you for who you are when the right time comes. Of course, I was expecting you to say that. I know you, you can never bring yourself to cheating on your wife. Well, purity can be anything. She can be very annoying sometimes, but she's still my wife. Okay, let's do let's let's do it this way. I have a couple of good friends that I can link it up with. I am not interested. I don't need them. So, sir, I, I I came to ask for your permission to make you something to eat. Please, sir. Mm. Sorry about that. You're a very good girl. I, I won't lie. You... So, I have observed a lot about you and I, I really appreciate your kindness and your dedication. 
Okay? So, you can go and do it. But are you, are you sure you can? Yes, sir. So you can do it. You will love it. I'm a very good cook. <laughs> Thank you, sir. of what you say or do prevented me from approaching you. But today someone correct and came to me. <laughs> well, you just have to be free with me. Okay? Yes, sir. This is really nice, I must confess. Thanks. <laughs> you just have to think of investing in a restaurant. What do you think? <laughs> 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 going on here, Amaka? Nothing, ma. Uh, uncle was hungry, so I pleaded with him to permit me to make something for him to eat, and he accepted. Get up. Go to your room. I do not want to repeat myself. Laughing at the top of your voice, enjoying her meal while you've rejected mine over and over again. Of course, you would ignore me. Look, you can ignore me all you want. But you see, this, this, if it ever repeats itself again, I will throw her back to the street where I picked her up. I want to ask you something. Why do you hate me so much? Excuse me. Yes, I, I really want to know if I've ever wronged you. If I've not been kind to you. No, no, what nonsense are you talking about? Of course you know that I love you. No, don't love me. Don't even say that. You have no atom of love. Love is sharing. Love is commitment. Love is care. Love is concerned. You have none of that in you. Come down. Come. Donald. You can put the blame on me. Yes, and I take it all. Because I never expected things to be this way. Good day, madam. Good day. Who are you? My name is Clinton. I'm Mr. Babaji's son. I'm here to see Amaka. Here she stays here with you. Honestly, madam, I don't know how to thank you for everything you have done for her. <laughs> You're welcome. It's nothing. But try not to be like your parents. Hmm? So tell me, now that you are back, what's the plan? Actually, that's the reason I came back. I want to take her with me. Yes. I don't know if she can stay here for a while, depending when her apartment is ready for us to move in. I don't want to take her to her family's house because of my mother, depending when her papers is ready for us to go. Oh, that's good. Well, Amaka can stay here. I mean, she can stay here for as long as she wants to because she's a good girl and I have grown fond of her. Hmm? <laughs> and then you can even come around and visit her anytime you want to. You're welcome here. Thank you very much, madam. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you very much for everything you do for me. May God continue to bless and reward you. I'm grateful. Honey, 
honey, you're not saying anything. The young man pleaded with me that she stays here until he gets an apartment and then she'll leave. Please, can you let me be? You're already taking the decision yourself without involving me. So why are you telling me now? No, no. You know I would not take a decision without your consent. Oh, really? That's what you've been doing. So why tell me now? Please say something. Say what? Say what? Say what? It's like you don't like here I'm seated. Let me just... No, we've not even finished. Yes. You mean you've been taking pills to avoid getting pregnant? Why would you go through my stuffs? Yes! Why would you go through my stuff? This, 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 this is wrong. This is invasion of privacy. For God's sake. Ha. What, what did you say? I said you had no right to go through my stuff. It's invasion. Oh, what is it? Been going everywhere, everywhere, looking for solutions, thinking that I'm the problem. What have I have I not discussed it with you? This bitch has been taking pills each time we have sex. To avoid getting pregnant. Is that not witchcraft? Um, Donald. Listen, I understand this whole dead feelings. How evil can one ever be? I swear to God, if there is nothing like love between us, mm. I would have killed that today and had some order. No, it hasn't got to do that. No, it has, oh. It hasn't. It has. Do you know what it means for good three years of marriage? Nothing to show for it. I've been thinking that I'm important. That I'm not man enough. Not knowing that this witch is behind us. It has! Donald. Is it because we are discussing it like this? If I tell you I don't understand you, I'm making myself a avoided liar. I really do. Okay, sis, both of you have come to understand that you are not compatible. Why not still come together and work things out? Who can do this and stop all this unnecessary rancor? Day in, day out, fight, quarrel. Come on. Not knowing that a child can bring unity. Maybe the reason for all this scuffle is because there is no child yet in our life. Child can bring unity, but this fool has no idea. He has no single idea. Donald raised his hands on me. I want a divorce. Yes, I want out of this marriage. You know what? First thing tomorrow morning, I am going to see my lawyer to start the proceeding. I am done with this toxic marriage. Sit, calm down, please. Do you think that divorce is the best thing to do now? Yes, it is, Vera. This man nags a lot. The worst is, he never sees anything wrong in what he's doing. I'm sorry. I am just... I'm just tired. He scares me. Relationship is not supposed to be this way. It's supposed to be filled with love and tenderness. Vera, I cannot continue like this. I can't do this anymore. Sorry, please. Don't do this, okay? But I still love him. Then calm down. Please. That's the problem. She always wants me to accept everything she does, but neglect her duties to me as, as a wife to her husband. Donald, 
No, I've come to understand it, Father. You already knew the nature of her job before you accepted to marry her. Don't you? Yeah, I know, but... That has never been... I know right now she's... making me look like a bad person before her friends. How demonic I am. But I still love her. But the thing is, we are not compatible. So the only option is, is divorce. Listen, listen, let me tell you, my friend. Thinking that direction, you remember you took a vow at the altar of God? That is for better for worse. Till death do you part. Our marriage is not a, a fireproof. It is working. It's working. Okay? You don't need to force it. If it's working, it's working. I can't remember the last time I laid my hands on a woman. So pushing me to that state. This is not working, my brother. I haven't done that. Ever. And nowadays. This relationship was going very smooth. In fact, we were happy until you started being abusive. You know what, Donald? I want a divorce. against my will. I have had enough. You are going crazy. You're no longer the man I used to know. I want a divorce and you cannot stop me, all right? I'm done! The divorce. Yes. I want a divorce. Oh, little prince. Can't wait for the day I will carry you in my arms for the first time. You know, my love, very soon I will be facing the future as it has already been planned for me. Nothing to expect and there will be nothing to wait for because my destiny has already been mapped out. I shall no longer feel the youthful thrill or rebellious ways. I shall raise my child with all honor and glory as a good mother. Our heart is like a bone that will never be severed. Our child is an angel and we will love him forever with his two tiny hands that wave in the air, his two tiny feet that tug our hairs and scratch our back, shoot button of paddling, with a brown and cute breeze with a bundle of joy. My love, that's our child. You know what I love most about little babies? Is their cute giggling. <laughs> and I'll... <laughs> Auntie, you're welcome. Thank you. Can you see me upstairs when you're done? Okay. 
You know what I love the most about little babies? What? They are cute, tiny giggling. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, is that my baby? Is that my baby? <laughs> and the baby will reply you with a go, go, ga, ga, ga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my love, the most important thing of it all is that the baby will only look up to us as his parents. Baby, your breakfast is ready. I want you to eat before you go to work. <laughs> Since when? Huh? When last did you give me breakfast in this house? Food, food, even lunch, dinner, when last? I, I, it's, it's been very long, but I have changed now. I'm a changed person. I have realized my mistake. Oh, really? Yes. That I'm rather too late. Because you asked for divorce and that I must give to you. No, no. Uh, yes, I asked for divorce, but then you said no, which is the right thing. Now my, 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 I have come to my senses. It's yes, yes to yes. No. You said yes, me, I said yes. So what's, what's the point? Okay, please. Huh? I, I want us to walk again. I'm, I'm willing to try, all right? I want you to eat before you go to work. Please, come and eat. This is really suspicious. Honey, wait. I thought you once loved me and you would do anything to make me happy. Now you won't eat my food. Wait. You think I'll poison you? Come on, baby. You know I would never do anything like that. All I want is your love and attention again. Please, let us go inside and eat this breakfast together. We will eat it together. Yes. Okay. That sounds much better. You eat first. Me and I eat. Let's go. You eat first. I just have this feeling that she's up to something because this is unlike her. It's scary. What the body? And everything, I, I feel she's all acting nice because she wants to strike. You know, this morning she forced me to wear this outfit. And then again, made breakfast and forced me to eat before leaving the house. This is. This, this is strange. Yeah. She's doing all this. That means she's still interested in you. But what then are you scared of? She really wants to make up the relationship. Why not help her? and build it back. Unless you've given up hope on the relationship already. Honey. 
Tony. You're welcome back. Welcome, sir. Baby, how did your day go? I don't understand what is really happening. Baby, this is just my way of being apologetic. I really want to make us work again. I want to have our baby. I want to carry our baby and hear our baby cry. Please help me. Apologetic. <laughs> My life is at stake. Um, sir. Sir, please. I think she's truly sorry. All through today, she has just been thinking of one thing, which is how to make you both work. She told me how you met and all the romantic memories you shared. They are not just blissful, but an eternal memory to cherish forever. Please forgive her. Please. Um, I just need to think about everything, okay? I, I really don't have anything to say for now. Let me just think of it. As humans, we are bound to make mistakes. But what makes us stronger is our ability to apologize and move on. Please, my dearest husband, Kate, you could do now. I am sorry. Please. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. Forgive me so that we can go back to being the happy family we used to be. I'm sorry. Honestly, I... I think I've fallen for my wife over again. I don't think I I want to go on with the divorce plan. I want to make my family work again. You mean she's still showing you love and care? Yeah. Right now. I can comfortably say that this is the woman I married. She has completely turned, even developed more in maturity, thinking. The love is just, it's just the way it used to be, and even more, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I think it's high time you put on you because both of you, I think both of you deserve happiness in this summit. Exactly, exactly what I've 
what I've looked into and I've come to agree with myself that divorce is not an option. We can make this work as one family. I've always told you that. Yeah. <sighs> thinking you will skip cooking tonight. I want to take you out for dinner. Uh, um, yes, I would love to go out to tea for dinner. I'll just... Okay, right back. Hey. Good. First, I want to start by apologizing for everything I did to you. I'm really sorry for how I treated you. I was supposed to be the man. I was supposed to know how best to treat my wife and address things that I'm not comfortable with. But rather, I, I went the wrong way doing that. And I really want to say sorry. What's made you change your mind? I've realized that I cannot do this without you. I love you with everything in me. so much too and I would want to grow old with you please stand up